We have a photo of my grandmother standing right here on this very bridge years and years ago. Here is a picture of now and then. There used to be a little trail, a walking trail down on the other side. That, and then we'd, we'd come across here. The brook ran that way. And this was all dammed off by the beaver. You see the old parts of the old beaver dam right there. This is where they used to do a lot of camping. My grandfather had a cabin just out over here. And he used to have his wall tent set up on the island before he, bought, before he uh, built that cabin. So I thought it would be uh, kind of neat to uh, get a, a, do a little video here where I spent so much time. The old bridge is still standing actually. Not too bad a shape. Eh? Parts of it are gone. But back then they built things the last, eh? This is the old, old highway. Now I know you can see that beaver dam right there. And the brook used to pass to the right of that. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of what it looked like years ago. But she cut a new channel. Perfect spot for a beaver crossover set right there, look. Uh, well, I'll go down and show you it. Back then, you would see a beaver house immediately to my left as you're going down over the bank here. We would then cross the old beaver dam and work our way over to Rocky Pool. I'm here on that beaver dam, and like I told you, the brook used to pass to the right of it and go down through there. So the brook came, come down here and make a little bend here, and we'd walk straight down there. There used to be a pat along the side here. Big, big time crossover here, eh? Yes, sir. Well, look what I found. Somebody got him in a leg trap. They had the drowning lock backwards, preventing the beaver from getting into the water and drowning. It's good uh, going back to where I used to go. Speaking of going back to where we used to go, here is a picture of me fishing at the mouth of Sawwest River. They never made hip waders to fit me back then. We would camp in the woods over there across the river because Saw West was an early river and the salmon season would open up on the 24th of May back then. Me, Mom and Dad would sleep in this tent and Grandma and Grandpa would sleep in the old cabin's tent with the wood stove. Here is Dad and his brother Tony with a couple of fine salmon. And here is a picture of Dad with three salmon and me on step. A nice foggy day. We're going to go down and see if the Cape Land landed as soon as Cousin Jack gets here. Down here, hoping the Cape Land are going to land today. Seas are kind of rough for it, though. And the undertow there is incredible. What do you think, Jack? They gonna land today? I think we better go home. <laughs> Wait for another day. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. He's got more experience at this than I do. Here is a picture of Michelle and Dad after the Capelin. And here you can see the Capelin landing. And this is a picture of me playing the harmonica when I was a baby. Here is a picture of my daughter Emily with my dad at the mouth of Kippens River. As always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for future updates.